I'm Kayla Michalisco. I'm Andrew Martin. And welcome back to the GC Show. It's been a while. It has. It has been a while. Yeah. So what can we be expecting on today's show? Uh, well, I had an interview with Mr. Manning this morning, so we can be expecting that. And Mimi and I have a talk segment over upcoming events, and we also have a throwback interview with Mr. Holden. But first, before we get into the show, we're going to have my interview with Mr. Manning. Hi, my name is Andrew Martin, and welcome back to the GC Show. Today we'll be getting to talk to Mr. Manning about some of the sports here at GC. So, Mr. Manning, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you for asking. I'm doing good. Good. Glad to hear you're doing good, too. So, now that sports have gotten back up into rhythm, what are you looking forward to most this year? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is uh, seeing all of our kids back on the field, uh, on the court, um, on the, the course, um, competing. Uh, that's the, the main thing that we, that we want to see is just our kids compete. Uh, at every level, at uh, every facet of the game that they play, and um, that's what we're looking forward to the most. The girls' golf team had some very noticeable seniors last year. They did very good. What type of results do you think that they'll achieve with some of the new younger talent on the team? Yeah, this is going to be a tough year for them. Um, they've got some girls that are trying to step in and, and fill some pretty big shoes. Um, you know, they're off to a, a bit of a rough start, um, but as they go throughout the season, I think um, Coach Spencer is just going to continue to coach them up and and look for growth in their game, uh, which is, is what you need to, to see. Um, and so I hope they, they take that every day that they, they go out and they try to compete, um, try to get them, make themselves better um, during practice, uh, during their competitions, um, and worry about the, the scores later. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing is just seeing that growth and that development out of our, our young team. The volleyball team has had an extraordinary start being 8-0 and so far. As they go into conference play, like they'll play Delta tomorrow, what are some of your thoughts on the team and the, the new coach? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is it just looks like they're having a lot of fun. Um, and obviously when you win, you have fun. Uh, and so as the, as the schedule gets a little tougher and tougher, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they, how they handle some adversity. Um, you know, they've had, had some pretty good matches up to this point, um, and we look forward to that continuing. Uh, obviously, we're starting our, our conference schedule tomorrow, um, hosting Delta. Uh, and so we'll, we'll see how that, how that goes. But a uh, very good start. Uh, it's an awesome start for a first-year head coach uh, and Coach Wyatt. So we're, we're excited about that, and we look forward to that continuing. Men's and women's soccer have both had rough starts through their season, but they're looking to improve as it goes on. As both are about to, play, about to face Pendleton this week, what do you think will happen going forward into the season? Yeah, I tell you, both, both of our, our soccer teams have just juggernaut schedules to open their season. Um, Sorry about that. You're fine. Um, and it's, uh, you know, the, the, the non-conference schedule that they play early on is, is very difficult. Um, they're playing, you know, top-tier teams. Yeah. Um, the pace of the game is, uh, is quicker. Uh, and when you graduate, as many as our boys' side has graduated, uh, and you look for some young girls to step up on the girls' side, um, that pace of play and that, uh, um, that momentum of the game uh, is very difficult to, to get used to. And so early on, they play some, some very good teams. Um, and so as we get into our season, into our conference season, hopefully, we were just talking about it in our office, hopefully the game slows down a little bit for those players and they, they're able to catch up a little bit uh, and we see a little bit more competitive um, games out of them. So I guess that's kind of what we're looking forward to. Um, we'll see how it, how it plays out with uh, Pendleton this week um, as, they, as they continue their conference uh, schedule. So the girls and boys cross country team are also off to great starts as well. The last year's team was very good with noticeable runners as Griffin Wheeler. Do you think that they can repeat the same results that they had last year? Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's the goal, right? Uh, is to, to, to maintain that momentum uh, from year to year. And I think Coach Smith and Coach Burton have their, have their teams moving in the right direction. Um, and I think they've got some kids that have, have already shown that they're gonna step up and fill some of those shoes that, that graduated. Um, and challenge themselves uh, to continue to improve um, as these events uh, continue to tick by. Um, you know, we had these with Carter Crouch um, over the weekend as, as our county champion um, and those types of things, like he's already stepping in and, and taking, that, taking that role on. So, um, you know, I think we had a couple kids that were out because of SAT or, or so and so forth, but uh, still a good showing uh, on Saturday and I think they're gonna continue to to look forward to that, that growth and that development um, as, their, as their meets continue to, to pass by. Yeah. 
So the boys, the boys tennis team, my bad, are also off to an amazing start, six and zero. They are v looking very competitive, competitive this year. They've swept every team that they've played so far as well. What do you think has made them so competitive and hard to beat? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for them is depth. Um, you know, from their one through three singles and their one and two doubles, they've they've just got guys that can play. And you know, when you continue to build a program like Coach Turpin has over the course of the last several years, um, you're going to get that depth eventually. Uh, and I think that's the biggest thing that they're that they're noticing. Um, you know, like like you said, they've they've swept every. Uh, every school that they've played so far, and so um, again, you know, we'll see how that continues. Um, hosting Delta tomorrow night, um, always a, a tough challenge um, within the HHC, and so uh, we'll see how how they continue to grow and develop uh, and play once we get into our our conference season. So, for the first time since 2017, Operation Football is coming back to Greenfield Central. Knowing that the team has had two dominating victories, what are some of your thoughts going into this very hyped Mount Vernon game at home? Yeah, it's a big. It's going to be a big night. Uh, it's going to be a big day uh, in general. You know, we're going to get here bright and early. We hope we hope we have a, a lot of you join us. Um, you know, 5:45 Friday morning, we'll be out at the football field, lights on, uh, music pumping, and and trying to get some enthusiasm going there. We've got donuts we're going to bring in. We've got a, a coffee truck that's going to come in so that. Uh, you can buy your favorite uh, type of coffee. Um, we're going to give away some rally towels. We're going to give away some um, some gift cards. So you definitely want to be there. Want to be a part of it. Uh, bright and early Friday morning, 5:45, and then obviously they're going to come back for the game on on Friday night. I think that's uh, they start their their stuff at 6 p.m. Uh, so we look forward to our student section being there and uh, bright and early, and um, and then again in the evening. Uh, but as again as we move into our conference schedule. Um, you know we've we've had uh, we've had two really good games, seen a lot of good things. Um, I know Coach Nolting will probably say there's a lot of things that need to be fixed, um, as all good coaches would do. Um, and we just look forward to to the challenge of, of facing Mount Vernon on Friday night. Across all of the sports, have you noticed anybody that stood out in their respective sport? Well, I think uh, you know that's tough uh, because uh, as soon as you start naming names, you're going to yeah. forget somebody or. Uh, somebody's going to have hurt feelings, but I think just across all of our programs, it's been awesome to see um, some teams that um, haven't had great years have started out really well this year. Um, and you know, the, the, some of them are being challenged right now, and I think it's going to be awesome to see how they rebound from that um, as we move into the next couple weeks. Um, and so I think that's the most uh, impressive part or, or most fun part about being an AD is I get to sit back and watch all of our programs uh, and the development that goes on there. So uh, that's been that's been fun so far this year. And the last topic that I have to ask you, going into this week, what are you looking forward to most in Greenfoot Central Sports? Well, I think there's several things that uh, that we look at. You know, a couple things that we touched on earlier, you know, we've got uh, tennis and volleyball host in Delta. Um, always a tough competition. Uh, when you bring them down from from the north side of our conference, um, our our boys and girls soccer teams uh, playing um, Pendleton Heights. Um, you know our girls golf teams playing in the in the county tournament tomorrow night. Um, you know cross country their season continues. They've got a you know um, big big meets coming up this this weekend, uh, and then obviously the the football game on on Friday night. So uh, it's a big week. Uh, it's going to be a busy week. We've got a lot of things going on. Um, and we look forward to it. Um, we hope that uh, everybody that's watching will be there and, and supporting our student athletes. Well, I'd like to thank Mr. Manning for allowing us to interview him and talk about some of the sports here at GC. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Today I'm here with Coach Holden, and we'll be talking about the past season. So, Coach Holden, how do you think us as a team did last season? Uh, so I've been here a long time almost 20 years and throughout the time I've been here we've we have struggled a little bit our conference is pretty tough we um, you know winning seasons were you know pretty rare um, in the last four years we've had several winning seasons in a row um, last year I thought we really you know, as a team kind of hit our stride in knowing what we're doing um, we've kind of adopted um, our philosophy and um, our wishbone offense is, is really becoming a thing. It's kind of a staple for 
with what we do. So um, I think it really was a big step for us, you know, going forward in that year four of Coach Nolting's tenure. So year five is going to be real exciting. What are some things we as a team did well, and what are some things that the team needs to improve on? I think the biggest thing we're doing that's paying off for us is the weight room. I think we finally have, you know, a group that understands it's not just the two hours on the practice field. It's the hour, two hours in the weight room. It's diet. It's, you know, doing the extra things. It's doing film study. Um, we've had a, a, a good group of, of kids really buy into what we're trying to sell them. Um, and then I think, you know, knowing our jobs, it's, you know, as you put in a new system, it takes a while for, you know, everyone to learn their job. And I think top to bottom last year, we did a really good job of knowing our jobs. Based, based on our, where we are right now, how do you think the next season will go? Well, I, you know, I try not to think about wins and losses going forward. Um, I think we just need to, you know, come in every day, work hard, work smart, have fun. Mm -hmm. I think winning takes care of itself if you do all the things that, you know, lead to winning, things like being disciplined, knowing your job, um, working hard every day. And, you know, I always throw out having fun because I think if it's not fun, you're not going to win. It's, it becomes a job. So uh, I think if we do those things, it's going to be a great season. As most, of, as most of we know, you were the online coach last year. And what are some differences becoming an online coach to a defensive coordinator? Well, it's... <laughs> You know, coaching O-line is the, my favorite thing I've ever coached um, in football. I've coached pretty much everything. When I started, I was the head freshman coach 19 years ago, 17 years ago. Um, and I've been the defensive coordinator here. You know, in the past, I've uh, coached quarterbacks. I've, you know, coached a lot of different things. And O-line was my favorite. And it was kind of the group we had, right? You know, we had a nickname. We had, you know, a flag with our nickname on it. We had the pancake chain. and. You know, just a lot of fun things you can do with O-line. Um, it's not a glamorous job. It's a tough job, you know, and, and for us to have as much fun as we did was really special for me the last four years. As far as defensive coordinator, um, you know, I enjoyed being a defensive coordinator before. It's a lot more work as far as preparation. I think it's a lot easier to prepare to do what you do, right? We do what we do on offense, and it's easy to prepare that way. Figuring out what other people are going to do against you is a little tougher. It takes a lot more time, a lot more film study. So um, I'm just looking forward to the challenge. You know, we got some really good teams in our conference, and uh, to try to shut down those offenses defensively is going to be fun. What are some memories you've had from the past season? Oh, man, uh, <laughs> there's a lot. You know, it's for me, it's, you know, not even the football stuff. It's starting every day with a, a dad joke, you know, and, and no one laughing. But if we don't tell a joke, everyone gets mad that we didn't tell a joke. You know, it's, it's board drills where you got people calling each other out and wanting to go against the best kids on the team. You know, it might be the littlest guy going against the biggest guy. You know, things like that just, it's not really the winning and losing and it's not really the teaching. It's the, you know, just the camaraderie uh, amongst the guys. So, um, yeah, I have tons of memories from last year that I cherish. When you first came to Greenfield and now, how do you think Greenfield has improved? Uh, we've grown leaps and bounds. You know, when I got here, um, we had just, um, we'd graduated a pretty good senior group and we lost our coach. Um, he was here my first two years and we got a brand new coach and um, Coach Dotson was here for 10 years and that's a long time. Um, we hadn't had a football coach stay that long. Um, and I was lucky enough that he invited me to be on the staff as the freshman head freshman coach. And that was kind of the beginning of us changing and football becoming a lot more important to people. Um, but I really think it's just been the last five years or so that we've really changed a lot. Um, when I moved up to the high school, it really was, I don't think kids were super proud to be a part of our program. I didn't see people wearing Greenfield Central football. Um, you know, I think people talk poorly about our program within the building. Uh, I don't hear that as much anymore. You know, I see a lot of guys um, and girls now uh, who are proud to be a part of our program and they wear their gear proudly and, you know, they talk about the things we do proudly. And, you know, I don't think we focus on winning. I think we focus on what our culture is and what our programs we want it to look like and winning comes from that. So um, I'm really proud to be a part of it, always have been, uh, but the last four or five years have been really special, I think. Going on to next year, what are some goals you have for the team? Like I said, my, my goals are to work hard every day, get better every day, and have fun. You know, it's, 
if you focus on winning, if winning is your goal, so let's say our goal is to win a sectional title, what if you fail? That goal's over, it's final. If my goal is to get better every day, tomorrow's a new day, right? If I didn't get better today, then tomorrow I can still get better. Tomorrow I can still have fun. That goal's always out there. And those are things that lead to winning anyway. So those are the things we want to do. So my goals every year going in are, let's work hard, let's work smart, let's have fun, we'll be fine. I'm Amy. And today we're going to be talking about upcoming school events. So what do we have in store? Well, this Friday we have Operation Football, which is where our student sections compete to be the best in state. Mm -hmm. um, there will be coffee trucks and isn't there donuts? There's donuts. So yeah, we're going to all be on the field at 545 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I got, we deserve those trucks to be honest, because who honestly is coming to school before six? Well, you know, if you're really a dedicated cougar, you'll be there. <laughs> um, let's see. We have the homecom homecomings coming mm -hmm. up. Um, we're going to be playing Shelbyville. And then the dance is that Saturday, which I'm excited for. Um, are you excited for that? Um, I don't know if I'm going to be going. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, I'm happy for everybody else. It looks like everybody else is super excited to, like, wear their new stuff. And yes. Go to homecoming, so I'm excited for them, but me personally, I don't think I'm gonna go. So this Friday we have, um, we're playing Mount Vernon and it's a home game and the theme is USA. Are you gonna be going to that? Um, I mean, if my friends go, I'll go, cause yeah. other than that, there's no point in going by yourself to a football game. Yes, um, I'm very excited. Um, during halftime, the band always plays and we have a really great band. It's really good. Yes, they went to a state last year and they got third in state, which is exciting, mm -hmm. it's super cool for us. Um, today we have the comedy sports meeting after school. Mm -hmm. It's the call out meeting and so if you're interested you just go and they tell you what it's about and when auditions are. So what exactly is comedy sports? Comedy sports is a competitive improv group so basically we go to different schools and we basically just try to make people laugh um, and get the most points on the applause meter and we win with a super or we always end if we win we get a super cool trophy which is normally like something stupid like a tiny Christmas tree <laughs> like it's never an actual trophy I can tell from experience that you guys are super funny oh. like it's so funny I was in tears last year for both like both games I went to yeah. there's a lot during the year and I unfortunately only got to go to two but the both of them were just so funny yeah our comedy sports scenes actually I I think it's pretty good um, I'm probably biased because I'm in it but it was, <laughs> it was pretty good we have actually some really good sports teams so, like, our football team, we've won both games this year, and then volleyball's been having a pretty good season, and so is soccer, and tennis had two matches last week. So, yeah, no, we have some pretty good teams this year. I think each year our teams just get better. Yeah, and I think, the uh, like, as much as we talk down on, like, incoming freshmen, I do think that they, like, they help a lot. Oh, when yeah. They, when they, like, join in and take things seriously, I think... We have a lot of um, really good football players coming in from the freshman, um, the freshman class. So I definitely see some improvement in our football team. It's pretty good. Our football team is pretty good. <laughs> so I'm excited. Um, theater is um, currently in the works with our new production mm -hmm. of Rumors by Neil Simon. Mm -hmm. Our first official rehearsal is today. Mm -hmm. Last week we just did a bunch of like read throughs. And I can tell you now that just by seeing the read-throughs, it's good. It's funny. Oh yeah. Like our actors really know how to like get into character. Our cast it's is like crazy. really good. Right. The chemistry between a lot of um, it basically it's about four couples in this mystery. So with that, the couples are really they all have really good chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. And they're really funny. They know how to bounce off each other. Mm -hmm. And this crew has been working together for quite some time now, so it's like it's you can really see yeah. that like we have a bond in this show. Yeah. Even the freshmen, like they've been roped in so quickly with mm -hmm. like the upperclassmen. It's like it's really cute. It's yeah. it's nice. There wasn't a lot of freshmen um, like that joined theater. Um, at least not in like the acting part. There was a lot in the tech though, like a lot, a, a good lot, amount of freshmen. Yeah, have a lot the more tech. than the past few years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's really good, but um, I think it's easier to pull them in when there's not as many. 
I think we'll be getting a lot more within the next year, though, because we are yeah. getting a new auditorium, so. Plus, there's still um, the musical this year, um, which a lot of people join because they do sports throughout the year and then end the year with the musical. So I think there will definitely be a lot more people joining. Mm -hmm. um, I was surprised when it was not Beauty and the Beast, but I'm very excited about Hello, Dolly. Yeah. Hello, Dolly, I think, I think it really fits our, like, Yes. Our range of people yes. better than Beauty and the Beast. I think we'll start doing like the bigger shows like that in our new auditorium. I'm ex I'm real excited for our new auditorium. It's gonna be so like high tech and like it's gonna yeah. be super nice. I've heard some plans from some teachers I know, and our backdrop isn't gonna be like a projector anymore. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a bunch of TV screens linked into one big like digital screen. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, and they're gonna move our booth from all the way in the back to right smack in the middle so it's easier yeah. to like control everything. Oh, that's super cool. And I'm pretty sure our auditorium now is gonna be like two floors. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard a lot about like backstage, um, like green room and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see that. I think we actually surprised. might get dressing rooms. Really? Maybe. That's super cool. You need to hear that from me, though. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I think our, definitely when we have the new auditorium, there's going to start being, like, shows like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, or, like people are going to think we're, like, serious now mm -hmm. instead of, like... People will hold, like... I think the, the plan for the auditorium is so it's open to the community as well, so we'll be having, like... Children's theater. Yes, dance competitions, like, for show choirs, um, and, like, people can hold stuff there i think this new auditorium is going to benefit like everybody oh like, yeah it's this auditorium is so cool looking like if you look it up on the internet and you just see like the building plan for it it mm -hmm. is it's really cool yeah it's definitely a, a good addition to our school and that's all the time we have for this segment thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you soon i'm Mimi, and i'm kaylee and that was the gc show Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Andrew. And that was the GC Show.